In this video we will create three different sensor cards, a big one, a small one and a medium sized one. Here you can see them in action on my dashboard. I like to use the big one and the small ones together in a grid. The medium one you can see on my energy dashboard here. I got some feedback that the background music in the videos is distracting, so this video doesn't have any music. Let me know in the comments if you like it better this way. As always make sure you have button card installed and because I got asked a few times, if you want to use the code with my theme variables, make sure you download the theme as well. If you are interested in the full code of the cards, you can find a link in the description. Let's start. Here we can see a preview of what we want to recreate. We begin by adding a grid card. As I said, I like to use the big and small cards as a group. For the big sensor card, we add a sensor and a name. Then we add a bunch of variables. I do this to make it super easy for you to customize the cards and use them as button card templates. I made a video about that, which I will link in the top corner. I think the variables themselves are pretty self-explanatory. However, the state variable is more involved. As the binary sensor just returns on and off states, I add some JavaScript code that formats a more readable state. In this case, connected and disconnected. We add the state variable to the label and set show label to true. I will put the state attribute here, but I will come back to it later as the customization magic happens in here. Let's style the card. We add some padding and a background to the card. We set the height to 129 pixels. This is important, as it's exactly the size of two small or medium sensors on top of each other in a grid. We set the grid template areas to be icon, label and name all on top of each other. For the IMG cell, we set justify self end and align cell start. The background we set to contrast 1, which is the background of the dashboard. This gives it the look of the cutout circle. We set padding to 7 and border radius to 50%. To place a circle at the top we use some margins and lastly we set the size via width and height. For the icon we just need to set the size and color. The name gets justify self start, font size 11 and color contrast 15. And for the label we set justify self start, font size 26 pixels, font weight 500, color to contrast 20 and margin top to 10 pixels. The basic styling of the card is done. To make it flexible and easily adjustable, we go back to the state variable. We add the attribute value in which we return the variable state on. This way we can control which state it is and are not limited to on off states. For the icon we do the same, but we reference the variable icon on. Now for the styling. The background color of the card references the background color on variable, whereas the name and label color references the color on variable. Now we have to do the same for the state of variables. For that we copy this whole block of code and paste it underneath. Now we just have to change all the variables from on variables to the off variant. Done. The card is ready. Here you can see why we set it up the way we did. If I change the background color on variable, the card will change color. This makes it very flexible for your dashboards and great to use as a button cut template. Let's add the small sensor card. For that I add another grid card. This card has one column and I turn render cards as squares off. Then we add another button card. For the small sensor card, we first set an entity. This time we only have one variable, which is called state. However, this one is quite involved. First, inside of the variables, we define two new variables, st and uni. st stands for state, which just saves the state of the entity. Uni is the unit of the sensor, in this case, what? If your sensor is in percentage, for example, you would have to change this. Now we return the st and the uni variable. For that, we pass the state variable to a float with a fixed length of zero. This makes sure the number will fit our card. We add a span with a style attribute to make the unit smaller and less visible. We add show label true and show icon false. When we add the state variable to the label, we can see what the JavaScript did. Let's style the card. We add grid template areas for label and name on top of each other. The card gets a height of 56 pixels. As I said, this is important so it matches with the other cards in the grid. The border radius is 24 pixels. We add some padding and the background color. For the label we set justify self start, font size 10 pixels, padding top 10 pixels, font rate 500 and color to contrast 20. And for the name we set justify self start, font size 11 pixel, color to contrast 15 and padding bottom to 7 pixel. And with that our small sensor card is done. If we copy this card and add it to the grid we can see that the height matches. 
Now we can copy the grid with both of our small sensors inside and add it again. Our sensor group with five sensors is now complete. Let's work on the medium sensor card. I usually use them in a grid of two columns. We add an entity and for the variables and basic configuration, we can basically just copy it from the small sensor card. We just have to delete show icon faults, but we use the same state variable. The styling for this card is a bit different, as of course it features an icon in addition to the label and name. For the grid template areas, we have the icon on the left and then label and name on top of each other. The grid template columns, we set 58 pixel for the icon and 1fr for the rest. Let's start with the IMG cell. We add justify cell start, width and height to 45 pixel, background to contrast 1, border radius to 50% and margin left to 3 pixel. For the icon we just have to set the size to 24 pixels and the color to contrast 20. The label gets justify cell start, font size 20 pixel, padding top 4 pixel, font weight 500 and color contrast 20. The card is similar to before as it gets the same height of 56 pixel, border radius of 45 pixel, some padding and then the background. Lastly, we style the name, which gets justified self start, font size 11 pixel, color contrast 15, and padding bottom 7 pixel. The cards are done. As I said, I usually use this in a grid of two, so we can copy the card and place it next to it. If we click the cards, they open the More Info tab. As I said, if you want to change the unit of a sensor, you have to change it in the code here. Now it shows a different unit. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration for your own dashboard. As I said, if you are interested in the full code for these cards, you can find the link in the description. I just started this YouTube channel, so if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos, in which I create more custom cards, show off cool hugs cards and a tour of my personal dashboard. I also plan on doing some live streams in the future, where we can design cards together. Thanks for watching!